know there's probably some questions. I went pretty fast on the down. I mean, on the the speed sweep, guys. If you got any questions, don't hesitate. When the time uh, when they open this thing up, I'll be glad to answer any that I can. Uh, again, we hang our hat on the jet, and everything else that we do works off the jet sweep for us. Everything, every every play we run basically is worked off of that. This has been a really good play for us, the down, and I'll show you why uh, once the diagram gets up. But it's a running play designed to gash the defense through C gap. It's employed when the defensive flank is shooting upfield to stop the jet, and we see this quite a bit. Some distinctives, the play side guard pulls flat, similar to a trap technique, and attempts to kick out the first defender outside the tight end. We will not run the down against the seven tech because it's too tight. We will go back to the weak side and do some things, and I'll show you that later, but we don't, we very seldom will attempt to run the down to the tight end side. Uh, you may have some ways that you run it's beneficial to you, but we just, uh, we choose to go another direction when we see that. Our fullback's aiming points the inside foot of the tight end. He must run downhill. We're trying to get that thing on the track as fast as we can hit it. Uh, quarterback snaps the ball now when the halfback is at the inside foot of the backside guard. Remember, we snap it on the outside foot if he's receiving the handoff. If he's not receiving the handoff, the snap's made off the inside foot. And again, typically not a good play versus a seven, but and that's for us. We just don't feel comfortable with that. Uh, backfield action lineman responsibilities. The tight end has a down block on the first defender on his inside. Play side tackle down block on the first defender on his inside. We tell our play side guard to steal second base. We want to snatch out of there. Uh, get those hips turned, stay low, don't lose any ground, and get on the inside shoulder of the defensive end and try to move him, uh, get some kind of movement. Our center steps play side. If there's a nose guard present, he's going to stay with him. If not, we work to the second level. Backside guard, step play side. No one crosses your face, work to second level. Backside tackle is the same way. Step play side and uh, work to second level there. The key is not let anybody cross their face. Now, for us, a blue would be a tight end to the left. We're going to run 354. Uh, guys, we won't say down. If it's just a 354, we won't tag it with down. In our belly series, we'll tag everything after the 54. But here, we won't tag it. We'll just say blue 354. And this is versus a 5-2 uh, a and odd front. Uh, you can see what we've got starting with the back side. We tell our guys, scoop inside, second level, scoop inside, second level. Nobody crosses the face. Uh, we've got a nose guard, so our center is going to play side step and stay engaged. Our guard's technique, he's going to open hard, still second base, and get inside out on the defensive end. Our tackle's a down block, our tight end is a down block. Now, I want you to notice we're showing our wing back here with an inside release. He's not going to get an inside release here. He's, we're not going to get him on the inside release on the down. He's going to make an outside release and try to get there. Okay, because all he's going to do is cloud the water. If he gets an inside release and this guy squeezes, we're in trouble at that point. There's nowhere to go, and, and it may be hard to bounce. If you'll notice, on our speed sweep, we snap the ball here. On all other plays where he doesn't get the football, we're going to snap it here. And this is going to allow him time to get out. It's very, very hard to pick up, and uh, I don't think we've had any trouble with anybody recognize that. It's too quick. Again, our aiming point here, he actually, our aiming point is going to be the inside leg of the tight end off of the step. So he steps down. Our aiming point should be a little bit wider, running the lane there. And, uh, again, perfect world. Everything sets up right. We've got a pretty good football play. Red over. Red over. We ran this play earlier with... Uh, with our speed sweep, again, it's a good play. The only thing, we, we this time we didn't plus our fullback, but it's the exact same play, guys. We're running against an even front, uh, depending on where that guy is right there. If he's in a true nine, we're going to go around him. If he's wide, if he's wide, then uh, we'll go inside him right there. But all we're trying to get, and I think, well, I actually clicked the red light there. Let me go back one. Here we are right here. Uh, once again, this gentleman is in a tight nine. We're going around. If he happens to be wide, then we'll go inside and uh, creates a whole different world for us. Uh, we got a down release with our tight end. Nobody's released. Nobody crosses his face inside. He blocks first defender down. Our tackle. Nobody crosses his face. He blocks first defender down. There's the pull and kick. We're telling our center play side step work second level without cover. We're telling our backside guard tackle play side step work to second level. 
Again, we'll snap the ball inside leg, and there's the track of our fullback. Uh, again, this has been a pretty good play. And the reason it's been a good play is because we're getting these guys right here. We're having so much success with the speed sweep. We're having these guys loosen and widen and on motion and snap the football as they want to go out here, which creates us a huge running lane in here. And we've been able to take advantage of it with the down. And I'm going to throw something out to, uh, at you real quick. Another play that we run that we found a couple of years ago because we knew we had a team coming in on Friday night, and one of the things they were going to do to stop our speed sweep is they were going to fly hard off the edge and try to slant. They wanted to slant this gentleman right here and get pressure out here wide and not let us reach the edge. So we came in and we called a red over 238 red light, and uh, all we do in the red light is put the brakes on. We're going to hand the ball to the backside back. We're going to put the brakes on and turn back in the hole. Guys, this is down blocking. The only exception is we want this guy, we want our wing back to get an inside release now. Instead of going around, we want to get an inside release. It's down blocking everywhere else. Our tight end and our tackles exactly like they would block the down. Our guard exactly like he would block the down. Our center, backside, and backside tackle exactly like they would block the down. The difference is we're going to hand the ball, we're going to hand the ball, we're going to hand it to him, we're going to snap on the backside leg, give it to him as quick as we can. He's going to put the brakes on, and he's going to run the football, our backside halfback. We're going to take our fullback and run the midline to keep all these people honest. It's been a great, great play. If you're having trouble inside the 10, we, two years ago we scored more touchdowns inside the 10 on this play than any other play we had, but it was because we, had, we were so good at running the edge, everybody kept working hard to the alley to take the edge away that we were able to slip back inside I mean, and we would just create a wall in here. And when that guy would go there, this is what we had. We catch these guys.